Amber and Veronica, uh, you've been here at the club for a little while now, but um, this is our first chance to sit down with you. So just want to say a belated welcome to Adelaide United. Thank you. So um, how are you finding Adelaide in Australia so far? Um, well, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, when I landed, it was a little bit gloomy, but I was really happy to see the sun come out. And it's been amazing. The girls, the coaches, the facilities, it's all been kind of a dream. So I really love it. Amber, how about yourself? Yeah, likewise. Um, you know, I like the kind of small city feel. Um, you know, it's easy to get around, much easier than Houston. Um, you know, the people are, are super friendly. Um, the food's great. The weather, you can't really beat it. And then got good soccer on top of it. So it's a great place to be. So, so tell us why you chose to come to Australia, but Adelaide in particular. Um, well, I was talking, I talked to Ivan, and the way he described the team was exactly something I was looking for. He said that he really uh, emphasizes on hard work and just working as a unit, as a team, to reach a final goal. And I was like, yes, absolutely. I, I want to play for a coach and a team that cares about hardworking players and has that at the forefront of their thoughts. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I wanted to come here. Yeah, I um, had been debating playing the W League for a few seasons now. I've been in talks with a few different coaches over the years and different clubs. Um, and, uh, you know, I would reached out to my agent and uh, they were looking for a center back and uh, kind of just timing wise with everything else going on in my life, both on and off the field. Um, it just kind of worked out. I, I was looking for a new experience. I played in Germany for a couple of years and then have been in the US League for five years. And um, as great and competitive as it is, it's, um, it's a tiresome and, and, and a very um, mentally fatiguing um, experience to be in the US. And particularly um, the past few seasons in Houston have been rough. So I was kind of looking for um, you know, a new experience, a new challenge, and a new atmosphere with a different coach and, and teammates um, and kind of just revive that, that love and that passion that I have for the game. So again, had a good conversation with Ivan. Um, and yeah, it just made sense to, to join Adelaide. Yeah, we, you mentioned that you looked at the W League previously. So mm -hmm. had you spoken to anybody else before coming here and, and did that help you make the decision? Yeah, um, there's been a few, um, particularly um, teammates of ours. Um, Sofia Huerta joined uh, our club mid-season. She obviously played here. Um, I knew know of uh, Abby Dahl Kemper. I was teammates with her for a little bit. Um, she obviously played here. Um, and just, you know, in general, word gets around through the Americans um, about their W League experience. And, um, you know, everyone had great things to say about it. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. And they say, you know, very keep in shape, you know, you get to play with a different set of girls um, and, you know, it's a beautiful country. So you can't really, really go wrong as long as you're good with uh, being away from your family and friends for a few months and, and kind of missing out on the family holidays. That's really the only downside to it. Yeah, Veronica, was Amber signing here, was that a big factor for you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Amber signing here and then Sophia hyping it up a lot. And I also played with Danny Colaprico and Mackenzie Doniak. So I talked to them and they loved their experience here. And they were like, V, you have to do it. Like, you have to go. You'll absolutely love it. And I mean, they're not wrong. So, so how, how do you feel about the, um, how you fit into the squad since arriving so far? I mean, the girls have been amazing They uh, from day one when we're incredibly jet lagged and I don't know what time it is or if it's what day it is. They were so welcoming and so kind and they made the transition into this team so easy. And well, I hope it's easy for them too, but I feel incredibly welcomed and I think that the transition was really smooth. Yeah, so I'm a bit older <laughs> in comparison to a lot of the girls on the team. Uh, it's almost like I'm back at university for us in terms of the age group of, of most of the girls. Um, but, you know, that's, that's fine by me. I've usually been one of the more experienced and older players on the team, um, especially in Houston the past few years. So, um, you know, I look at that. I, I like that. You know, I like when girls, you know, come to me with, with questions or want advice here or there. Um, I think Emma and I, particularly in the back, have have a good partnership already you know even though she's younger she's obviously played in this league for quite a few years and you know I've only really made the transition to center back a couple of years ago so 
um, we're, we're kind of in the same spot and we're, we're learning off of each other and, and you know I think we have a good balancing act so you know the girls have been have been great and uh, I think they're accepting of you know the older internationals that that we've been brought in and then you know V fits right in in terms of the, the age range so yeah we, you mentioned your experience you played in Germany played for Bayern Munich you know you've captained Houston so um, what was it like with that experience and you know how does women's football compare to the US, to Australia? Just explain that. Um, so when I was coming out of college, um, actually on my last semester of college, they had an, there was no women's professional league in the US. So uh, my mindset was I knew I was going overseas and I particularly was interested in Germany because my I had toured Germany before, I was in contact with a few teams and I just thought that their style of play would kind of suit my strengths. So. Um, even when they announced that the NWSL was going to start, there were so many questions surrounding it. So I was like, you know, I just, I just want to go. I want to experience this now. I knew it would be harder later in my career than earlier when, you know, more things were set at home. So um, I was really happy to join Bayern Munich. I mean, one of the largest and best clubs in the world. Um, Pep Guardiola was the men's coach at the time. So just being in that culture and that environment where everything is soccer. Um, and you know it's a very competitive league, very structured. It's like thirty some years old, so it, it's established. Um, uh, so that was a very good experience for me. And then you know, obviously, I came back to NWSL. I always knew I wanted to play in the U.S. Um, and the timing of it just worked out. And you know, obviously, I, I played a season in Portland, a season in Seattle. Kind of moved around a bit. Um, didn't really have much stability in my career, and then uh, landed in Houston and have been there the past few years. Um, so it's been good to kind of get my footing there. Um, we've been underachieved as a club, uh, been through a lot of transition in terms of coaching and, and player turnover. So not exactly been the, the experience that I was looking for, but I've you know gained a lot, uh, learned a lot, and um, both on and off the field that I think has helped me. Um, and then coming to Australia, um, I think it's a perfect balance between the NWSL. Uh, it's, NWSL is super intense, every game is anyone could win. There's, you know, world superstars and every, on every team. Um, and here, you know, I think, again, it's a little bit more German in the sense that it's very team oriented. Um, you know, it's also very competitive on any day, any team can win. Um, but I think the, the style is a little bit more relaxed. It's not so, you know, high strung and, and tons and tons of pressure. I think we have a little bit more time and space on the ball. So, um, I think it's a good, you know, what I can't necessarily do in the States, I'm trying to work on here and, and vice versa. So that was, you know, a big um, reason for wanting to come here to really work on those parts of my game that maybe in the NWSL there's just t too much pressure and, and too much on the line to, to really work on. Yeah, and, and with all that experience, um, was that something that you wanted to, did you, come with that mentality to bring that experience to this team. I, Ivan obviously spoke to you beforehand, you know, yeah. it was a bit of a young team. So yeah. was that something you wanted to bring here to try and you know, improve the team? Yeah, for sure. I, I think, um, you know, even when I was a younger player, um, I think because of growing up in the U.S. youth national team system and having gone to UNC, which is such a strong program, I like and I've just always kind of naturally been a little bit of a, a leader and more experienced player and I'm very vocal you know didn't matter how old I was or whatnot so um, I think kind of once maybe a coach doesn't initially know that of, of my personality yet but a few training sessions in they kind of get to see that um, and I've never been one to, to shy away from that so I think just naturally I kind of bring that and then obviously yes now I have the six years pro experience in different leagues um, you know, I think Ivan and speaking with Emma too, like they specifically targeted internationals that were a bit older and more experienced. Um, so we could bring that. And one of the first conversations with Ivan when I got here is they wanted, you know, he wants me to, to wants the younger players to be able to feed off of me and to ask questions and me to be open to it. So, you know, of course, um, I have no problem with that because I think regardless of your age, you're always, I'm learning something from the younger players too and maybe that's just you know a reminder of you know to relax a little bit and have fun you know it's as much as we're professionals uh, it's got to be about the joy of it and I think sometimes just my nature and I get caught up in, in everything and the competitiveness of it so um, I think it's you know it's not just I take stuff from them and they take stuff from me and I think it's it's a good balance but yeah for sure it, I mean I think every setting that I go into um, 
you know, I think everyone has something that they can bring in terms of leadership and, and their experience. So uh, I have you know, no problem being in whatever respect they want to look at me yeah. for that. Sure. And Veronica, you, uh, you made your debut for, sorry, I'm going to start again. Veronica, you made your debut for Houston earlier this year, but you've also got experience in the college system. So what are you hoping to achieve in your move here to Adelaide United? Is this as much about developing as it is coming here to win? Uh, absolutely. I'm hoping that the two uh, can coincide so that I can develop my game and my technical ability and my ability to make decisions on the field when I'm under pressure and have that help add to our level of play here and have that lead to actual results. So we're hoping to get that result this Sunday. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think the two are mutually exclusive. I think that the environment that we have here is uh, conducive to my development and the girls here are always so excited to do extra stuff and I love it. I love being able to get more touches on the ball before or after training and there's always a group of girls that's excited to do it and excited to get after it and it's awesome. It's something you don't see everywhere so it was really exciting. And, and just finally what are your goals for this season and what are you hoping to achieve out of the season as a whole? I will win a championship obviously um, but just growing as a person and a player I think being away from home for three or four months and super far away from home to the point where there's no visiting back um, Houston wasn't quite so far but I think that develops you as a person and just being in a different culture and a different environment also helps you develop as a person so I think it's just overall character building and player building. So I'm really excited to see what happens at the end of these four months. Yeah, same. I mean, I think if you ask, I, we weren't even here yet when they set the team goals, but I mean, we knew it was finals or, you know, playoffs as we would say. Um, and then, you know, certainly I think once you make play or finals, uh, anything's possible in, you know, that semifinal and the final. So, um, and I think, you know, just looking at the team's results in the past and just kind of knowing from the players, I think consistency, right? Because that's, that's going to get you those points. So, um, you know, playing a, a full 90 minutes or, you know, plus stoppage time. And, um, I think we're off to, you know, a decent start, you know, not conceding goals. And I think if we can finish some goals and just be consistent uh, throughout knowing it's, you know, a decently long season and, um, if you're you know, consistent enough, you're going to pick up enough points and maybe have a surprise a team here or there, um, then I think we'll be in a good place. Okay, well, thank you for your time and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you.